Oh baby, it's my favorite thing to do. It's currently, I'm filming this on the day of my birthday. My brother took me out and we're going thrifting, see if we can find any cool Blu-ray deals. So yeah, I'll check out the Goodwill. I haven't been to this Goodwill in a little bit. So hopefully there's some nice goodies in store. Any cool here? They got rid of all their CDs. There used to be a lot more CDs here. Batista. Batista. I walk on. Oh, this is a documentary. They have this parental guidance with Billy Crystal. And Mr. Marissa Tomei. Anything cool here? Jeez. You they tried to tape it? See if they try to play it. Okay. There's this crazy heart. $3. From a Blockbuster. That's nice. Oh, they got a... They got a bunch of uh, HD DVDs. They got Superman 1, the movie. Then they got Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut. That's cool. And they got this Atonement. James McAvoy. Interesting. This looks like I've never seen this movie before. This looks interesting. Anything else here? Oh, they have The Artist for $3. Retail for $23. I'll get this. $3. Not too shabby. Oh, Viggo Mortensen in a Nazi movie. What is this? A German literature professor in the 1930s. For his personal service. Okay. Decent. Oh, yeah. Hairspray. Oh, it's like a... With a clear slip. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. What does it look like outside? Oh, my God. Very nice. There's a few cool stuff here. We got... What is this? Time Traveler's Wife. Oh, I see something interesting. 3D Blu-ray for the official... 2010 Thief World Cup. Only plays in 3D. This looks cool. I don't have a 3D player or TV, but that's interesting for some uh, movie lore, some FIFA lore. You know, a bunch of these IMAX DVDs. These sealed IMAX DVDs. That's cool. The Mountain Gorilla. That's cool. 229 each. Wow. Anything else that's cool here? Capote? I want that Blu ray. There's no blue. Here. They got brothers. Oh, great! I like this movie. It's just it's depressing. It's very depressing. They have this little kind of chunky box, that kind of collector set for uh, Batman Begins. Got another Blu-ray. Seven pounds. Very nice. But those are the Blu-rays. I usually I know there's a lot of really cool DVDs here. Like they have this. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, or some of this you never find. Tony Hawk, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, it's loud as shit, but uh, I found something at the Goodwill. Found a couple Blu rays. Now we're gonna go into the, uh, the pawn shop and see if there's any uh, $5 Blu rays that might tantalize me. So let's go. How often are you going to play the Wii? Would it? Good job, sir, as well. Now we're going to the Salvation Army for some $3 Blu-rays. What does it say? $5 off five. 50% off the mattresses. Mattresses. Oh yeah, at the uh... Oh true, maybe like a rental or something like that, yeah. Nice. Any Blu-rays here? Oh, you don't. 
come across Blu-rays that often in this location. Jelly's Fearless. There's a couple. Listen, listen, this is a real DVD. Really? What is this? <laughs> DVD designer Ripper, from Ripper, Ripper, Sean Matazaro, and Logan Strand. They had two people working on this, Mason. Two what? people made this cover, Mason. Nice. Why did this guy remove the artwork from this? What is this even? Side A. Oh, it's a double feature? this it's also a double feature for something like 300 blu-ray that they got one ps2 game rock band what is this within noise nathan film it's empty there's a PS3 game. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. That's fun. That is fun. Nothing too exciting here. Hey, that's not fancy. Never mind. That would be a cool find too, right? I already have it. Really you have it? Okay. Specialized. Following. This is Chris Nolan's first ever film. I have it on Criterion Blu-ray, so I don't need it. Now I'm looking to buy Swordfish. I keep seeing these Blu-rays for Swordfish. Who made this? Dominic Cena. Looking for uh, not insomnia, but uh, anyways, that was this location. Nothing too shy. A lot of cool DVDs, but not really in the market for some DVDs. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Yeah. All right, that was a bus, but it was Valley Village. Sometimes you find something cool, but they're always overpriced, so you never know, unless it's like a cool, rare thing or something. It's a rare thing. They know it's a rare thing. Well, no, not movies. So yeah, let's, let's go. Wow. Cinderella. It's like a live taping on Blu-ray. That's pretty cool. Beyonce. Some put their date on it. That's funny. Oh, no. That looks interesting. Five nine nine. Oh no. Why is the bus coming here? Nothing cool. Damn, even the thrift stores can wear their physical media. <laughs> this used to all be DVDs, I guess. Now it's just sectioned off to this section. Anyways, there's another DVD with Blu ray. Found an ad for the Angry Birds movie. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. We are at the Mission Thrift Store, home of the $1 Blu rays. You can see if there's anything cool. What are these? Seen these before when I was long DVDs, long boys. All right, here we are, another store, Tilly's. Anyways, looking for some uh, some Blu-rays, never know. You know, you might find. This isn't the greatest. Sometimes you find $4 Blu-rays, sometimes there's fucking $7. That's not what we're on the hunt for. But you never know. But you never know what you might find. Oh look, it's the Platoon DVD. It's a uh, better video quality than the 4K. That's probably not even a joke. See, so Live, Die, Repeat, $4.99, not bad. Not too bad. And then I think they have a couple Blu-rays over here. Anything cool? Anything cool here? Guardians of the Galaxy, this is 
$4.99. Oh, they, they dropped their prices. A most violent year. Oh, $7.99. Jesus, okay. Hi, robot. Hobbit the Unexpected Journey, $5.99 with slipcover. Oh, hell yeah. Brooklyn with the slipcover. Is this a Greg Gerwig film? I don't know. But uh, I heard that was actually a decent movie. Point. I'm seeing a lot more of these, uh, what's it called? These uh, blockbuster deep Blu rays. Australia, X Men. Was I, was I panned down the entire time? Sorry. Train wreck. Last Mohican. Fantastic. Cake. We have the call on Blu ray. This looked very interesting, but it just wasn't. Yeah, dude, $7.09, holy shit, for a dingy old Blu-ray. Uh, well, there you go, that's why you usually don't come here. Not very interesting, nothing too cool. Oh, shit. Death to Smoochie, oh, yeah. <laughs> we need a Kino 4K of that. <laughs> yeah, there you go, that's your, that's your, um, ooh, that looks cool. Luke Costello and Bud Abbott. Abbott and Costello meet the killer. Boris Karloff, nice. Anyways, Bruce Lee, Dragon and the Cobra, what? Anyways, that was uh, the thrift hunting. Let's go home and I'll show you everything I picked up. Let's go. Oh, change of plans. It seems like uh, we were somewhat nearby, not nearby, like 10 minutes away. There's a game store that also sells movies. I got a bunch of rare stuff here last time, so. Yeah. But they have some new stuff. Let's check it out. Okay, we are back. Uh, used Blu-ray hunting, one of my favorite hobbies because you never know what you might find. Video game stores, pawn shops, thrift stores, that kind of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed today's uh, hunting video. Now let's take a look at everything I picked up. Starting off with the Goodwill. I finally found it for a cheap enough price and that is The Artist on Blu-ray. I remember when this first came out, everyone was so gung-ho about The Artist. It won a bunch of awards. I think it was, a, it was an Academy Award like sweep, right? It won Best Picture, Best Starring. I don't know, but it's I, what I'm guessing is it's kind of like an homage to 30s and 40s cinema. I'm assuming, I'm guessing, I'm not too sure. I haven't read too much into it, but I remember everyone was talking so much gung-ho about it. I was like, oh my god, it's one of the greatest movies of modern cinema, so... For three dollars at Goodwill with the slip cover, I need to put some goo gun on this old Walmart sticker or wherever the sticker's from. AFI it says, I don't know what that means, but pretty decent looking slip cover too. I don't like the awards banner, but it is embossed, so it is nice. But yeah, the artist on Blu-ray, uh, I am intrigued to watch this and finally see what all the hype was about. And then this film, uh, I'm open to World War II dramas, not necessarily like battles and wars, but more like I watched um, a movie called Taking Sides starring Harvey Keitel. Now, I really like that movie. So I saw this movie called Good. Um, it's probably more, but it says Good. And uh, this is from Blu-ray. Uh, this is on Blu-ray and it has the old Blockbuster sticker. So I'll probably keep that on there. Keep that 1999 in the year 2010. So uh, I think the person switched out the uh, Blu-ray. Actually, no, because for some reason on the top here, it says babies. I don't know if you can see, I don't know if it'll show, but it says babies on here. <laughs> and uh, the sticker says good and everything. So I don't know. Uh, I haven't seen this movie yet, um, clearly, uh, but Viggo Mortensen I love. And um, it looks really intriguing. I didn't see any reviews for it. I'll probably go into this blind and seeing if it's good. But you never know. You never know. I might find a, a hidden gem when it comes to these films. So yeah, Viggo Mortensen in Good. I don't know what it's about. German literature professor in the 1930s explores his personal circumstances in a novel advocating compassionate euthanasia. Should be interesting. It's probably going to be either really boring or really intriguing. So thankfully... At this point in my life, I've pretty I've matured a lot when it comes to film. So I think at this point, I'll probably enjoy it a lot more than if I was expecting like some I don't know some Nazi movie or some World War II movie. And so those were the first two pickups from Goodwill. Uh, then we went to the pawn shop, and the pawn shop had a lot of really good stuff. Now starting off is I was so hyped I actually found one of my grails that I've been meaning to watch for the longest time. That is Christopher Nolan's remake of Insomnia on Blu-ray uh, starring 
Al Pacino and, and um, Robin Williams. That sounds extremely intriguing. I wonder what this might be. I think this is his third or fourth film. This is, um, I think this is one of his earlier films, 2003, I believe, 2002. So really early in his filmmaking career, you know, after, I think this is his third film. So, uh, no, <laughs> shit. I forgot to look inside the case. Oh man, there's no disc. Fuck, dude. What? Note to self, always look inside your cases when you're buying things because you might not even get the disc. So I guess because the pawn shop buys it in bulk, so they probably didn't look at everything. They saw, oh, hey, there's 100 Blu-rays. I'll give you this lot for like 50 bucks, 50 cents a Blu-ray. They're like, okay. And this did not come with it. I'm really bummed out. It's not that I wasted five bucks because I can easily exchange it out when I go back, but I've been really, I've been meaning to watch this film and I was like so hyped to finally find it on Blu-ray for five bucks and I was like, hell yeah. And now there's no movie. So, <sighs> dumb Mason, okay, dumb dumb. But anyways, hope this, <laughs> now I'm, gonna, I'm scared. I, I didn't look at any of these discs. I just assume, you know, as a business, you you check it or whatever. But next, I got the Carrie remake on for on Blu-ray, or as this is called Car. Uh, this has a really nice lenticular slipcover on it, so that was really cool. Um, also, I have a huge crush, or I used to have a huge crush on uh, Chloe Grace Moretz in high school, so that's also why I picked it up. And it has a Future Shop sticker, very minty Future Shop sticker, uh, giving me um, what's it called flashbacks of the old days. So I'll probably I may may I may keep it you know, the future stop sticker on it, but I'll definitely remove these with some goo gone. So hopefully that helps it. And then I'll put like a cover over it so that it doesn't, you know, ruin the case or whatever. But Carrie, does this have the disc in it? Yes, it does have the disc in it. And there's also a digital code. If it works, let me know. So boom, because I really don't care for digital codes. I'd rather just use it as a gateway to get better PR on my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm joking. It's a win-win, okay? You see, me, you see me as a nice guy, and you get free movies, so. But yeah, Carrie on Blu-ray. I didn't really hear much about it. Is Laura Dern in this? Does Laura Dern, or is Julianne Moore? I thought Laura Dern played the played the mom character, but no, it's Julianne Moore, so. Carrie, I like the original movie. Uh, I didn't hear, I haven't really heard much about it, so I don't, so I don't know if it's good or, or if it's good or bad, so yeah, keep an open mind to it. Maybe I'll do a double feature on Halloween. And then I got this really intriguing film. It's this, I believe, uh, Chinese film. I could be totally wrong. Maybe Japanese. I think Chinese. Yeah. It's a Sony film. It's called Warriors of Heaven and Earth. Looks like a medieval epic. So I mainly got to see what the movie's about. And there's probably going to be some really cool action sequences. Being that it is a Chinese film. It could be a whole lot of propaganda, but who knows. But it is rated R and it is a war movie. So... That should be really intriguing. So I'm really excited. I don't know anything about this movie, but it is in tradition of Crouching Tiger, Hidden, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Warriors of Heaven, Warriors of Heaven and Earth weaves a thread of battle, comradeship, and honor. The story follows Lieutenant Lee, blah blah blah. So that seems like a really cool rated R war film. So yeah, and then I got this, which is a shout. Shout, Shout Factory Blu-ray, and that is reality. Uh, I really don't know what this is, but I had Eric Warheim from uh, from Tim and Eric. Awesome show, great job. So that's really intriguing. But again, uh, for five dollars for a Shout Factory Blu-ray, can't really pass that up. So, and it looks pretty interesting. So I'm excited to get into this again. I didn't really read any synopsises. I just saw the director, saw the cast, saw who was, uh, saw what company released it, and then I picked it up. Because sometimes I like to read the synopsis and read some of the things, and sometimes I just like to go gung ho and just pick up random shit, especially for you know five dollars a piece. And if you get five, you get one off. So, and then next one is a movie that I know got a 4K recently, but I'm not gonna spend twenty dollars for a 4K. So why not get a five dollar Blu-ray for Crawl? It came with the slip cover. Now this is a newer release. I think this is 2019 or 2020. Who knows? But I know and uh, they got a 4K recently, so. Intrigued to watch this monster movies. Not really the biggest fan of monster movies, but I'll, I'll keep it up in mind if the effects are cool. It also produced by Sam Raimi. Now that could mean jack shit, but um, I mean if if he if he puts his name on there, there has to be a reason why. So, crawl on Blu-ray. Been hearing a lot of good things about it. And then they had a 4K there that was five dollars. Cause I was like, hey, how much is this? And they're like, oh, it's five bucks. Cause I guess they didn't know the difference between a 4K and a Blu-ray. And this is still sealed. 
And this is a newer movie. It's called uh, Ron's Gone Wrong. I, I've been seeing this all over the place. But it looks like an intriguing little fun movie for $5 for 4K with the slipcover. And it's still brand new sealed. That's a, that's a decent deal for me. So Ron, Ron's Gone Wrong. Uh, looks like a fun little movie about a kid befriending his robot. Futuristic kind of, you know, fun movies. Because, you know, I, I kind of gripe on Disney films. But some of them are just really nice, lighthearted, really fun movies. That you just like to sit down on like a depressing day or on a rainy day. And just have fun. Have lived through some escapism. You don't really have to think much. And you're just you're able to have like a really fun, wholesome time. Uh, so Ron's Gone Wrong for $5.00. I mean, you, I can't really pass that up. And then the last Blu-ray I got from that location was uh, Johnny Depp in Rango. Uh, I remember actually really enjoying this film. I remember when it came out. I think people threw it by the wayside. I think this was like a flop. I'm, I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. But this had a really nice embossed slip cover to it. So I picked it up. I remember really enjoying this when it first came out. So I can't wait to give it another shot. Rango on Blu-ray with a nice uh, embossed slip cover, so had to pick that up. And then we went to the other, what's it called, the other pawn shop, and they had a few good things there. Uh, again, same same uh, franchise. It was it's called Buster's Pawn, and this was the Brampton location. They had a few good things. Uh, starting off with was a movie that I've been meaning to check out because it has a history buffs episode out and I've just been interesting to watch more, right, more Michael Keaton at least more modern Michael Keaton and that is the founder the McDonald's movie so I've been seeing a lot of clips where Michael Keaton comes up to the drive through or I guess not I guess it wasn't really a drive through it was just like a hut and then it was like yeah uh, okay yeah, cheeseburger or whatever and then he just brings it as like what is this it's like it's your food uh, no, no no I just ordered and I'm like really I couldn't even imagine Back in the day, before the, like the like how much how much fast food is such a commodity and how like ingrained it is in like American culture, like I couldn't even imagine back in the 40s where it's like that wasn't even a thing where it's like you had to sit down at a diner or you had to sit down in a restaurant and wait 20 minutes for your order to come in and you kind of kind of eating was more of a social thing and then you know fast food became like a really big thing where it's just like yeah I just want to eat give me my food now so. I'm intrigued, and I like I like period pieces. It takes place, like, I believe, in the the '40s, maybe early '50s, and uh, yeah. So, the founder on Blu-ray, really interesting to check it out. Another movie that I've been really uh, intriguing to watch, still brand new, sealed with the slipcover. That is uh, George Miller's Happy Feet. Now, this is a movie that I remember really liking when I first saw it in theaters when I was like a little kid, but uh, I think yeah, I was six years old when this came out. And then, you know, I just haven't watched it since. And then, ah, it's a baby movie. I don't know if I can watch a baby movie. And then I, you know, got the Mad Max movies on 4K, watched those, fell in love with those. And then I was, I wanted to watch other, uh, what's it called, George Miller films. And then I totally forgot that he also directed Happy Feet. And this has a pretty big cast. Robin Williams, Brittany Murphy, uh, rest in peace, uh, Hugh Jackman, and Nicole Kidman. So I'm like, hmm, I have to give it another shot, so... Happy Feet on Blu-ray, really nice sheen to the slipcover, so for five bucks, you can't really go wrong, still sealed in the cellophane, so stacked cast, some fun Warner Brothers animation action, or I guess it's not really action, but just some fun family films you gotta add to the collection, you know, I can't just be filled with a bunch of crime thrillers and doom and gloom, I gotta, I gotta even it out. Uh, next is another, next is a martial arts movie, uh, it says, from the studio that brought you Train to Busan, which originally griped, uh, gripped me, and that was Rampant on Blu-ray. I think it's from Haya? No. Okay, the logo look, reminds me of the Haya streaming service. But again, another movie that I was really interested in, what I'm guessing is, it's a medieval zombie movie in... Um, What's called the darkness looms over ancient Korea. Murderous creatures known as night demons have overrun the country. Returning from a long imprisonment abro abroad, Prince Ganglin Ganglim uh, discovers that it will take the strength of his entire kingdom to stop the bloody rampage spreading across the nation. In this fresh new take on zombie horror films from the studio that brought you Train to Busan. So it looks really interesting. I'm expecting some really cool action sequences. And again, I love time periods or you know period pieces. So this should be a really interesting movie. Again, I didn't really Google any of the you know ratings reviews. I just saw. I, I basically love hunting at those kind of places, like how I would hunt when I was a kid going to Blockbuster and just looking at a random movie or a random video game. So, Rampant on Blu-ray for five bucks. 
maybe I shall add to the collection. And then I got a movie that I haven't, I think I've seen a long time ago on TV. And then I just, it, it just, uh, I just forgot about it. And then I'm subscribed to Adam Savage's uh, Tested. And he was looking at the actual costume for this movie. And that is Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow. Uh, I remember really liking this movie. You know, every, it comes on TV during the Halloween season. So I'll probably watch it then. But was it 1800s? Period piece, Sleepy Hollow, Headless Horseman, Tim Burton. A lot of people say this is well, a lot of people say this is like ten Tim Burton's top five films of all time. So I'm excited to check it out with a new set of fresh eyes. And then I got another Blu-ray here, the last Blu-ray from this pawn shop, and that is the Magnificent Seven. I know there's a 4K with an outer print slip cover that I've actually made a few slip covers for the 4K of this, but I wanted to check it out on Blu-ray, see if it was worth it. It was free anyways. It came with the you know buy five get one free. So, um, yeah, and I have the OG. I have the OG film on 4K right here, so I'll probably watch this first and then check out the remake. I heard the remake was actually pretty decent. It was a fun action film, so I'm really excited to check that out. And, you know, for being a newer movie on Blu-ray, I'm pretty sure this is going to look really good, too. So, yeah, uh, The Magnificent Seven. There was a bunch of older uh, 20th Century Fox stuff that were like from 2007, 2008 that I was really tempted to pick up because a lot of those movies that you, can't, you don't really find on physical media unless maybe a boutique releases them. Things like really old Steve McQueen films, some um, like those random war films that you see from 20th Century Fox. It's just like, I don't know, maybe we'll get a Kino release, you know, so I don't want to spend... You know, if I know it may get other releases. And I know that sometimes those older Blu-ray transfers don't look the best. So I thought I stayed away from those. And then the final pickups are from the video game store. And these, are, these were the best pickups. Because the one, I got a 4K for $5. Another 4K for $5. Or I guess $6. Uh, but first we'll get to the Blu-rays, which were $4. Or no, it was $3 Blu-rays. And that is because it was... It was I think it was one for five or three for ten, but since I already bought I bought other movies, he just added it to the deal. So he made this three dollars. That is Mall Rats on Blu-ray. Uh, I need to get, get uh, I need to you know start watching more Kevin Spacey, Kevin Spacey, Kevin Smith stuff. I've seen Clerks one. I've seen Jane Silent Bob Strikes Back. But besides that, I really haven't watched many of those movies because I mainly like really enjoy the Jane Silent Bob characters and stuff like that. But again, you know, I've heard these. This is one of his best movies. This Chasing Amy, I believe, and a few other movies on the list. I think. Um, but uh, yeah, Mallrats. It comes with both the theatrical and extended editions. Okay, this did come with the disc, so that's good. I didn't check those other ones. But yeah, uh, Mall Rats on Blu-ray. It comes with uh, theatrical and extended versions. Now I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna go back and look to see if there's the movies. Okay, Rampant's here. Uh, Sleepy Hollow is here. And then Magnificent Seven. Okay, they're all here. Okay, good. It sucks that sometimes you don't get the disc in, but thankfully this has it in here. And I'm really intrigued to, to get into this film again. Uh, 2014 Blu-ray, so it should look pretty good. And then I got three 4Ks from this location. Starting off with the most expensive, which was only $12. And that is Sonic 2 on a 4K. I have the first Sonic that I got for, I think, $15. Brand new 4K with the slipcover. But, uh, and I heard these movies are actually pretty decent. They're fun family films with some really, uh, you know visually uh, stunning sequences of like HDR and that kind of stuff so like really vi bright vibrant and bright uh, color so decided to pick up uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 because I have Sonic the Hedgehog 1 already so why not add to the collection for $12 you can't really pass up a $12 4k or at least I can because those are some pretty good deals for at least for here in Canada and then I finally bit the bullet on Wonder Woman I still have yet to see this movie I actually own it on blu-ray but never got around to watching it but for nine dollars that's like that's like Black Friday prices. So $9 for the 4K only, which I don't care for because I already have the Blu-ray here. But yeah, uh, Wonder Woman, uh, I heard this was this takes place during World War One, which I didn't even know. I thought it was just a, it was a Wonder Woman movie that takes place in modern day. But it does take place during World War One, so that should be really interesting to see because, again, I love me some period pieces and I, I love World War One films. This is probably definitely not like a World War One film. But uh, it should be fun. I heard that this is actually pretty good. Now, I know the sequel is terrible, but I heard a lot of people had high hopes because the first one was actually quite decent of a film, especially for these modern DC films where they don't really, they haven't really been 
as fun and as because they're a lot really dark and they're weird like uh even though justice league was like fun but it was too much fun like it was like hey man uh shit's going down and you're just making quips and jokes but i heard uh, cause I haven't even seen the Sweden cut yet. I haven't seen the Joss Sweden cut. So if I find it for five bucks or ten bucks, I'll probably pick it up. But until then, I have the Zack Snyder cut, and that's fine with me. But, uh, yeah, so Wonder Woman on 4K. I think all I need is Aquaman, and I think I have all the DC, DCEU, cause now it's just DCU, right? So, I, so yeah, Wonder Woman on 4K. And then the last pickup was a pretty good deal. Six dollars for a 4K. Uh, I know I, I heard this is, like, a terrible film, and the Steelbook even goes for really cheap, but... For $6 for a 4K, you can't really go wrong with a pretty big cast. Idris Elba, Matthew McConaughey in The Dark Tower. Now, I know I've heard f nothing but terrible things about this about this movie, but, you know, $6 for a 4K, I could potentially make a s custom slipcover for myself. And that's, honestly, that's what's been, what's been coming down to when I'm buying these movies that don't come with covers because I get the opportunity to make new designs and that kind of stuff, so... Yeah, so uh, the Dark Tower. I haven't really heard much about it. I know that it's. Uh, I've heard a lot of really bad things about it, but it can't be that bad, right? I mean, Matthew McConaughey, uh, Idris Elba, uh, in what, 2018, 2019, 2017, and it's based on a Stephen's uh, Stephen King movie, right? So, uh, Stephen King book. So, can it really be that bad? And I'll probably look back on this video and say it's fucking terrible. But at this point, six dollars for 4K for a mid movie. I'd add that to the collection. So those were the pickups of the day. A pretty successful Blu-ray and 4K hunt. Got a bunch of cheap 4Ks and a bunch of really cool Blu-rays. The only sad part was that that, that Christopher Nolan Insomnia was very sad that it never came with the disc. So I'm going to be more vigilant when it comes to buying used movies and checking to make sure. I think, I don't know, for some reason I just assume that they look inside the uh, the disc or they look inside the cases and see if there's discs in there. But my brother was like, dude, they buy these in bulk. They probably just saw the cases. Okay, there's 50 of them or 100 of them. Here's 50 bucks or whatever. And they probably just, you know, put the boxes. Because I showed you in the, um, in the first pawn shop hunt or in the first pawn shop clip, I had to remove the boxes and then look at the boxes. So I did panning shots of inside the boxes. So uh, a few good things, but um, that was really a big bummer, and that really left a sour taste in my mouth. But I found a few cool things that I'm really excited to add to the collection. I'm going to go right now and log them into the Blu-ray app, and uh, whenever I get around to watching them, I'll, uh, I'll uh, let you know. I'll put a review in there. So again, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to do a like and subscribe. I am Mason from the Mock Buster YouTube channel. Please have yourself a good day, night, evening, afternoon, morning, whenever you're watching this. Please stay safe and God bless. Long live physical media. And until you guys, until I see you guys next time, have a good one. Peace out, guys.